Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I would like to show you how to get rid of a column we don't want in our dataset without using any data preparation tools, but directly in Tableau. Just a very quick disclaimer before we start, this is a solution for when you cannot do a data prep, so it's not available to you to do data prep, or for when you actually want to keep the column in the dataset, just not in a specific view or in a specific graph. So let's consider the following data set. We have a data set that has an ID corresponding to an item. For instance, here we have an item called jacket corresponding to ID one. And we see in fact that the name is repeated five times and we have a cost. So this jacket costs a hundred euros, right? However, we also have sub IDs. So those correspond to all the sub costs. So delivery costs 10 euros, labor 30, margin, the margin, so the profit is 35, material 20, and packaging 5, which all sub, uh, sums up to 100. But let's say we want to have a simple bar chart that shows us the item name and the cost. So we know that our item is a jacket and the cost should be 100. The same for shoes, they should be 90. So let's try to do that. So let's open a new tab and drag both ID and item name, doesn't really matter, they correspond, you see this one is a jacket, and then let's drag cost. Now our jacket was supposed to be 100 euros, but we see that it costs 500. And why is that? That is because we have our sub ID. And if we drag sub ID, we see that there are five sub items. What is happening is that the cost is being multiplied by five. Now, what is a way to get rid of this? Of course, if you are interested in seeing sub ID and sub cost, then it's perfect because the number is actually correct in this case. But if you want to display just each ID, each item and their actual cost, then what we're going to need is a calculated field and we need to use this calculated field as a filter. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a calculated field and call it filter out sub ID. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say sub ID needs to be equal as, and we're gonna need a level of detail calculation here. We're gonna say fixed ID max sub ID. So what does all of this mean? We are basically telling Tableau, can you please check that the sub ID is the actual maximum. So uh, in alphabetical order, the closest to Z from A to Z, the maximum sub ID for this specific ID. So for ID one, please check that this is packaging, which would be, um, yes, from A to Z, the closest to Z. And for I ID2, do the same. Please check that it's the closest to Z. So we're saying, please check it, and we use it as a filter. So this would be a true or false. And it's exactly the same as writing an if-then statement. This works perfectly as well with the min, instead of uh, packaging, you would take deliver in this way. It doesn't matter. Our goal is to have one sub ID per ID. So once we have created this calculated field, we're going to drag it to the filter shelf, set it to true, and we are going to be able to finally calculate just to have a, our bar chart or whatever other chart we want or our table, but with the correct cost for each item. So for instance, let's build a simple bar chart. We have ID, let's also drag item name. So for jacket, we would like to have the cost we know, so 100, but by default we have 500, right? Because we're counting it five times. So if we add our filter, set it to true, we have our correct number and this is how you can build your bar chart with the correct numbers filtering out columns that are bothering you